Yes then YouTube, we are on the road to glory, so you know what that means, a custom tactics video of a favourite formation of mine that has been a fan favourite for many and many and many years, your absolute bread and butter of your FIFA formations, and that is of course the 4-2-3-1, I absolutely love this formation, have done for many and many and many a year, and probably will do for many a year going forward in the future, it's the perfect formation really, you've got everything, you've got the four attackers, you've got the two CDMs, You've got the back four rather than a back three or back five, which is really popular at the minute. It's just a well-rounded, perfect, balanced formation. I think this and the four triple two are the most balanced four-back formation in the game. I love a four one two one two narrow as well, but I don't think it's as balanced as a four triple two and a four two three one. So, without any further ado, drop a like on today's video for me. Let's smash 200 likes and hit that subscribe button to my channel. That would mean the world to me. So, balanced on the defensive style. Yes. Oh, my God. What have I done there? Yes, you guessed it. I don't like pressure on every touch or press after possession loss, as you can probably gather from my video. So because of that, I use balanced. I like to be in control of where and when my team presses the ball. Your cheapest and most reliable place to buy your FIFA 23 Ultimate Team Coins. Please do check out mmoexp.com. Link is down in the description below. Use the code WOLF at a checkout for 5% off your order. So then the defensive width YouTube is actually then on 40 on the 4231. So I don't go as narrow as I normally do, like with a 35 and 25 when I'm using a 3 or uh, a 3 or a 5 back formation. But... I still like to be a little more narrow than I would normally be because as Team of the Season is here and the, the better attackers are on the game now, I just like my back four to be a little closer together, more compact, making it really harder just to break down the, the opposition, really. It really is just that simple. So your left back will be closer to your left centre back. Your right back will be closer to your right centre back. All of your back four in general will be closer together. Your two CDMs will be closer to the back four. All in all, just a perfect defensive width, really, in my opinion. Now, this is where you need to use a little bit of your own initiative, YouTube. So, I have gone back to using 60 depth now. The reason being I'm using a little bit of a higher depth on the 4-2-3-1 is because, like the 4 triple 2 we do actually have two CDMs. Rather than two central midfielders like in a 4-4-2 or three central midfielders in a 4-3-2-1 or like in a 5-1-2-2, we've actually got two out-and-out -out CDMs. So, we can afford to push that defensive line up ever so slightly a little more aggressive than we would normally be. So, because of that, that's why I play 60 depth. But, and there is a but, if you struggle defensively, I'd probably recommend using 55. You won't notice too much of a difference between 60 and 55, but your defensive line just won't push up ever so slightly, meaning it might be a little bit easier for you to not concede. Do you know what I mean when I say that? So, if you struggle defensively, maybe give 55 a go. But for me, I love 60 and most of you people will love it as well. You'll be surprised. And actually, even if you do struggle defensively, what I always say is the best form of defence is to attack. You know, like if you are someone that struggles defensively, try not to put yourself in those situations where you are camped in your own half. You know, push up. So then you're actually not defending as much, right? Think about it like that. Now, the offence, of course, is going to be balanced and direct passing. A little bit of a thing here. If you are an old gen... Maybe give long ball and balance to go. That's one thing I would say. So if you are an old gem, drop a comment down below and see. Tell me, let me know what you do use. I find long ball and balanced on old gen. I've been playing old gen a lot this week. I do find long ball and balanced a little more effective than balanced and pass on old gen. I don't know why, but I do. But if you are on new gen, or yeah, if you are on new gen, which is PS5 or Xbox Series X. Balance of diet passion, of course, is your absolute bread and butter. And um, if you are an old gen, do give balance diet passion a go as well. Let me know. what. Yeah, let me know, by the way, in the comment section. What do you use on this offense? Let me know. Now, the offensive width, I've actually narrowed it a little bit. So, it will, would normally be on 50 on a 4 2 3 one. I've actually gone to a 45. Basically, I want my lamb and my ram ever so slightly... My lap, Well, all three of my cams. They're, they're classed as cams, but you know what I mean. They're, ugh, they are classed as cams, but you know the cams that are on the left and the right, the lamb and the ram. I want them closer to my striker and my middle cam. I want it to be a little more closer together so then it's easier to get the passing lanes going. So that's why I use 45 on the width. If you don't like that, though, just go to the traditional 50. Probably won't notice too much of a difference, but I like 45. I like it a little more narrow. Players in the box on a 4-2-3-1 is 7. Yes, I've upped it all the way to 7. The reason being, I find in the 4-2-3-1, defensively, it's always sound. It's going forward that you need to be a little more creative. It's a little more harder to create opportunities. So because of that, have more players in your opponent's box. More likely you are to score a goal, right? That simple. And of course, two corners and two free kicks. This is how my team is set up on my RTG. Kane up front. Lewandowski is the cam, Saka as the lamb, St. Max, Gucci Gang as the ram, Modric and Odegaard, of course, and then back four, pretty obvious. Now, 
Player instructions, this is where you earn your money, YouTube. This is where you earn your moolah. This is the most important part of custom tactics, in my humble opinion. So, the striker. Stay central and get in behind, that is it. The stay central, pretty obvious. If you have your striker moving out to the left and the right wing, because of the 4-2-3-1 and the fact it is only one striker, you'll be left with a rather big gap in that middle of the pitch that you don't really want. Okay, so because of that, leave that striker on stay central. Get him in between the width of the goalposts. Make him not move from there. Easy up to gobble up opportunities. And then, of course, the get in behind. I love it. Basically... Make the striker running behind. You don't even have to play the ball to the striker because the striker is then making them runs in behind. You will now see some arrows on your screen. Think of all that space that if you don't play the ball that then your three cams will have to operate in. It's really, really actually quite smart. So even if you don't play the ball to the striker, I would recommend having him on getting behind because of that. The middle cam, I basically use this as kind of like a second striker, but not. So because of that, he is on getting to the box for cross and that is it. So he's on basic defense support. And get into the box for cross. I want my cam to kind of play as like a shadow striker. If any of you play football manager, you will know that. Is I want him to make runs beyond my Harry Kane and stuff like that. So because of that, the get into the box for cross is your bread and butter. Like I said earlier with the players in the box on the custom tactics part. More players in the box, more likely you are to score a goal. That, that's kind of the way I look at it. It's not too much method in it. And then because of that... I have my lamb and my ram on comeback on defence and, of course, get into the box for cross. So, my lamb and my ram will tuck in and help my Odegaard and Modric out when we haven't got the ball. And then my Lewandowski will kind of be in that half. So, he won't stay forward because, obviously, my Lewandowski's not on stay forward. But he won't also come back on defence like he would be if he was actually on comeback on defence. So, just pretty self-explanatory. But... Because I don't have my middle cam on comeback on defence, you definitely need your lamb and your ram on comeback on defence just to make it defensively solid. And then because we're on balance and direct passing or long ball on old gem, the players will run straight away forward as soon as we get the ball anyway and get back into their usual positions. This is where you need to use your brain a little bit, YouTube, okay? I have both my CDMs on completely default settings apart from cover centre. So I'll put them on cover centre instead of cover wing. So both of them will get forward ever so slightly. They won't completely run forward YOLO like they would be if they were on um, get forward and stuff like that. But I like them to get forward a little bit. But, and there is a but, if you do struggle defensively, put one of them on stay back while attacking. You know, like put the... Uh, Put the more defensive-minded one. So, for example, me, it would be my Modric. Put your Modric on stay back while attacking. It'll help you out defensively a lot more than you think. But I really like having both the CDMs on balance. I like them to get forward, help out with the attacking side of the game. A lot of people really underestimate how important it is to probably have a midfielder that can score. My, um, my Odegaard on my RTG scores a lot of goals. A lot, a lot, a lot. So... Because I then have both my CDMs on um, balanced attack, so they will get forward a little bit. I then have both of my fullbacks on stay back while attacking. So I don't attack with my fullbacks at all. And if I do, it's me manually running forward with them or triggering runs with them with the LB or L1 button on PlayStation rather than them naturally getting forward because they're on balanced attack. Always have done on a 4-2-3 when I just find it easier to work with. And then last but not least, YouTube comes for crosses and sweeper keeper on my goalkeeper. And that right there is my updated 4 2 3 one custom tactics video for you guys if you did enjoy this video please 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 drop a like on the video for me drop a comment down below and hit that subscribe button to my channel that would mean the world to me remember spread the love and positivity pma positive male attitude peace out one love